Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I'm gonna to show you a really simple technique for creating a win-loss Spark chart type visual for Power BI. Now, those of you who've made Spark lines in Excel before might recognize a Spark line or a Spark chart that looks similar to this, where you have a square either above or below a nine to indicate either a win or a loss or a positive or negative value. Now, in Power BI, I'm gonna show you how to make one of these out of a visual that looked initially like this. And there's gonna only be a couple of steps required to do this. So it's gonna be surprisingly easy. And I wanna show you the techniques. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. There's two versions of this visual that I'm gonna show you. One with a absolute dollar value and another one with a percentage value. Now coming up here, even looking at the native tooltips, we can see that I'm actually representing the original value into here but we have a very clear box above and below just to indicate whether or not this is a negative or a positive number for each of these periods. So I have that on this one here if I come down to the second tab. Similarly, I can also achieve this effect with a percentage as well. So even still, the native tooltips are showing this. And if we look at the visual, open up the pane here, all I have on my x-axis is month and year. I have my y-axis as a month over month sales percentage. Nothing special going on and I'm just using a standard clustered column chart. So let's go ahead and see actually how to build one of these. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna come over to the start of video report page here, and we're gonna see how to change this visual, which is in the dollar value for each of these, as we can see here with either a negative or a positive number, we're gonna come up to the format for this chart here. We're going to go to the Y axis, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna set the min and max to just negative one and one. So the minimum becomes negative one, the maximum becomes one as well, now you can see that because any of these dollar values will at least be a single dollar above or below this, it's essentially cutting it off in the range. So now I can take this and now we can shrink it down just to about here. There we go. And one thing that I wanna do is I don't really need the range over here. So I'm going to go ahead and come to the Y axis. Now, now if I do turn this off, it also gets rid of the lines, which I actually like the horizontal axis line. So instead I'm gonna come down to values. I'm gonna change this to white which gets rid of the axis over here for the labeling, starting to turn this more into what I would like to have as an output. And we still get the same data labels. So I don't have to do any type of conversions because all I have to do is adjust the min and the max ranges. And then the rest of these, we moved up to create a little bit more room for the remaining visuals. There we are. Now, one reason I like this technique is the fact that the data labels here will still show the original value. I had originally conceived of maybe making a new measure that just simply did a negative one or one return, depending on if these numbers are positive or negative, but then I would be left with having to make a custom tooltip page for the visual here to then show the original values. So this is allowing me to have the best of both worlds. Now, similarly, if you were in a percentage in here, it would be recommended to set this to a 0.001 negative for the minimum and a 0.001 for the positive, still creating a range that would allow for any percentage that is ever returned to at least be above or below that threshold. So you just have to make sure the min and max is small enough that every value would always cross that threshold. And there you have it, a really easy way to create a Spark chart in Power BI using just a native visual and a little bit of tweaking of the start and stop for the Y axis. Hopefully you found this useful. If you liked this video, check out some of our other recommended videos up here in the left. Otherwise, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment down below if you have any other suggestions for this video or any other videos. And otherwise, I will see you all next time.